It's me. I'm back. It's Ann. How you doing? Anyway, I was trying to think of something to film today, and my husband looked at me and said, you just got back from Dollar Tree. Why don't you hit up a Dollar Tree haul? So I said, well, yeah, that could be fun. Um, and then I started thinking about all the stuff I've gotten from Dollar Tree over time. And I'm going... We could go hog wild here and, like, just show you the whole ham. I'll start off with this bit. It's a retinol sheet mask. And it's one of the same ones you can get through Shop Miss A, also for a dollar. And I was thrilled because it was right there where I was. And then, while we were looking at the sheet masks... I found that they are also carrying this um, retinol cream that this is one I got from Shop Miss A, but they're selling the same one at the Dollar Tree. I love my Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree is fun. Um, now, most of you, I'm going to um myself to death, I think, at this point. Most of you who have shopped at Dollar Tree know they have things like makeup wipes. Well, this particular type is exfoliating makeup wipes. And I actually like them. I don't use them that often. Uh, it's one of those that if I'm not going to be able to like go in and scrub down because it's very late or whatever I will use this after a regular makeup wipe to do some work on my face before I put my moisturizer on 30 wipes not bad now our Dollar Tree has a rather eccentric collection of makeup brands And we very often have a lot of Elf, Wet n Wild, uh, da, 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 LA Colors, and Color Mates. Most of my Wet n Wild brushes came out of the Dollar Tree. Now, granted, these are a dollar pretty much no matter where you go, but some of these are a little more pricey, so I was thrilled. I got my Wet n Wild brushes. I got a lot of my brushes. I've got tons of Wet n Wild brushes over here that I picked up at Dollar Tree. With the Wet n Wild and the Elf, and the LA colors. With all of that put together and some of the color mates, I have, since I started doing this channel, pretty much filled up several drawers of makeup. A lot of it is eye color and lipstick. This one is the LA Colors Highlighter. There's three shades in there. There's a gold, a pink, and a blue. I've got the LA Colors Eyeshadow Palette Smoky and Nude and Rose, which is one of the Rose Gold versions. I've got one of their Smoky Trios, which is just a gray, a black, and a white. 
some pastels. Color Mates had some warms. Color Mates, and it's all sparklies. There's green on one side, blue on the other, and some browns and other neutrals in the middle. Some of the LA Color Six Pans. I've got a blue one and a green one. And I did that backwards. That's okay. Now, they occasionally have Beauty Benefit, which is not Benefit. It is Beauty Benefit, which is a different company. I got my Coral Liquid Lipstick from Beauty Benefit from Dollar Tree. And I got this absolutely lovely lip gloss from Dollar Tree from the same company. I have got probably two dozen LA Colors lipsticks in every color that you can think of easily to all of the standards all manners of pink all manners of reds and browns and so forth with elf it's kind of a hit and miss they had this one for a while which i really like but they didn't have that one for long and then Here's another one of the elves that appeared on the on the racks. And an elf blush. And heaven help me more eyeshadow. This tiny little thing has probably got the tiniest pans I have ever seen. They have three of these. One that's called Natural, which is this one. One that's called Glam, which is all sparkles. And I can't remember the other one, but there's a third one of these. It's just a little tiny palette with a little piece of elastic on the box that keeps it held together. Beauty Benefit and LA Colors have been keeping me supplied in liquid eyeliner. Lots of liquid eyeliner. I just keep collecting them. Another one of the lovely little things that I pick up is this, which is one of the caffeine and whatever else uh, under eye serums that takes the bags out from under your eyes. I love this thing. The ball is nice and cool and, you know, it's a steel ball and the caffeine helps deep puff under my eyes. I've already got a backup of that one. Basic lip gloss and ta -da -da, -da -da -da. LA colors. Just some little lip glosses to throw on because I'm running out the door and my mouth is dry. LA colors also I picked up one of this is the lightest color foundation that they had in the store. It's a little dark and a bit too pink. But if I had to, I could put together a face in, from it, stuff at Dollar Tree without having too much trouble. It may not be the perfect face, but it would be a face. Some of my favorite polishes. Nail Polish, 
wonderful stuff. Again, this is LA color stuff. Now, one thing that I picked up today, well, actually, it's two things, but it's all the same stuff, basically, is LA Colors has these little pigment pots. And they're a pain in the tuchus because it's got a little tiny brush inside that you've got to use to dig out the powder. However, the powdered pigment is delightful. It's beautiful. And normally, this is the three colors you will find. This kind of a very pale, bronzy color, the gold, and the white. Those are the easiest ones to find. Today, while I was there, they had the pink and the purple in. I'm looking forward to playing with those. They don't normally have them in. Next thing. Yes, I'm just kind of randomly running through stuff. Mascara. We have Wet n Wild, LA Colors, just mascara. You can get mascara of every make, model, and description. You can get Wet n Wild, LA Colors, sometimes you can get some e.l.f. It all depends on what came in on the truck. Now, this is something I had not seen in our Dollar Tree before today. My cellar cleansing water. And this is not a small bottle. This is 6.7 fluid ounces of my cellar cleansing water. No, I haven't tried it yet. I'll let you know. It was just nice to find it. It really was. It was just lovely to find it. And I think that's pretty, I've pretty much gone through all the stuff I've pretty much, yeah, mostly collected, except there's, there's always a few things that, like the big stick balm stains from Wet n Wild. I've got a couple of those that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. But if you're looking for things and you're on a tight budget, you can find stuff at the Dollar Tree that will do just fine. Now, I didn't buy all this today. I've been collecting this over time since I started this channel. Some of it I actually had beforehand, but mostly after I started this channel. And that was back in August of last year. So this has taken me a little while. But it means I'm not stuck with just one or two items. I can do some looks. I can do some experimenting. I can play with stuff. It's great. Is it perfect? No, that's okay. Is it high end? No, that's okay. It works. So, if you decide that you need a few things, even a fancy unicorn brush. Go check out your Dollar Tree. It's not a shame to pick up stuff at Dollar Tree. It really isn't. I mean, if you can pick up Elf and Wet n Wild at Dollar Tree, why wouldn't you? It's like they're pretty well known and you can get a pretty good deal on a lot of the stuff. Give it a shot. Go out and play. Play cheap. Be good.